Let's take a look at the view and you'll recognise some of the famous London landmarks. For example, you can see Tower Bridge and just behind it the Dome of St Paul's Cathedral. Then of course there's the River Thames overlooking the City of London. You can just make out the gherkin there sparkling in the sunshine. And as we come closer to us, we've got the old Royal Observatory, which you can't actually see at the moment, but the Royal Naval College, the National Maritime Museum, and also the Queen's House. And it is quite a gorgeous view, I must say. Now, it was fresh earlier on. The temperature's already rising. It's 20 degrees here at Greenwich Park at the moment. And the forecast for this week is a hot and a humid one. Not just in the south, the humidity is rising as we go through the week. It's not until the end of the week we start to see things change and it freshens up a bit. And as we go through the week, there's the increasing risk of thunderstorms. Now, if you catch one, they're likely to be torrential downpour there is the risk of some flash flooding, gusty winds around them and also some large hail. So today what we've got is a weather front in the southwest. It's already producing showers, some of those are thundery and it's going to be drifting northwards through the day. Now in the west, close to the coasts and the hills and the English Channel coasts, there's a lot of murk and some mist and some sea fog that will be lapping on shore as we go through the course of the day. So we could catch a thunderstorm almost anywhere. We've had one in the northeast of England this morning already, but the thunderstorms are going to be travelling northwards through the Irish Sea, the Isle of Man, northwest England, northern Ireland into southwest Scotland. But the highest temperatures will be in the southeast at 34 or 35, 30 in the Midlands, more comfortable as we travel north. Tonight, the thunderstorms continue to migrate northwards, becoming more widespread across northern England and Scotland. Temperatures in Scotland higher than the night just gone, so it's going to be an uncomfortable night for sleeping in across most areas. Tomorrow then we start off with the thunderstorms in the north travelling up towards the Northern Isles. Again, a greater risk of some thunderstorms in England and Wales, particularly Northern England, the Midlands and also East Wales. Again, they could be torrential. We'll still have some mist and mark close to the coasts, but it'll be cooler along the North Sea coast with an onshore flow. But still inland, highs of up to 35 degrees in the southeast, a little bit more comfortable as you travel further north. Then on Wednesday, well, once again, there's a greater risk of some thunderstorms as low pressure comes up from the south. So for England and for Wales, you're more likely to see them. And in the north, we've got a front moving across Scotland and Northern England. So you too are likely to see them. So all of us at risk, the Met Office have those warnings out just to suggest that. And our temperature's still peaking at about 34 or 35 degrees. The headlines are coming up next. Thrilling cricket this, and with Archer steaming in.